for God's call. Let me say that again. It is the ability to release ourselves for the master. Grace giving is the call in our lives to say, I give myself up for Jesus. Oh, I love when the two sisters were singing because I'm saying, oh, and the Holy Spirit moved through this room. That was his grace giving to you. Do you know who I am? Will you worship me? Yes, now will you offer all for me? I got a problem with that now. Let me give you something else. Number two, number two. It is that which makes us available and anxious to see those resources expended. Man, man. Grace giving is when you cannot wait to see what God will do through what he's given you for him. Telling you, my bank sent me a statement this week and said, John, you've overdrawn on the account. Because see, I gave it all to the church. And you are overdrawn over $100, but we will charge you an extra 10 for the money that you gave. I said, praise God! I've expended all! And the bank just told me. <laughs> now you think about when you get that statement, how you feel, especially when you've expended it for nothing. I would say thirdly, that grace giving is nothing like an incentive program it is nothing like a pragmatic plan. It has nothing to do with 100-fold blessings. <laughs> you can give and he ain't going to give you nothing back but what he wants. I ain't giving to get nothing back from him. Grace giving is I'm giving it and you don't even have to answer my prayer. Ooh, wait. Man, you know when you expend yourself for God like that, you are emptied of yourself. And, and check it out. That's right, she, he is hot to do something for you then because he said, you've given me everything. Now I'm going to open up all the doors of heaven and I'm going to rain down on you a blessing that you won't be able to receive. You will never get the resource of that until you expend all for him. Oh, Lord, what he wants to do with us. And he says, oh, I know your faith. You ain't got much, but the little that you got, you're using it for me, and I'm just turned on by that. You want to know what turns God on? It ain't what turns a man on about a woman. It's not what turns a woman on about a man. What turns God on is your faithfulness to what he said. <laughs> and you know what? If you're not faithful to what he said, he will never be turned on and he will never turn your situation around. Grace giving. What else is it? Number four, this grace of giving is what God kindly imparts upon all believers who desires his will to be done in their lives. He'll give it to you if you desire his will to be done. He said, do you want to do my will? And you got to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me share something else. Are there biblical examples of this kind of giving, this God's strength working through our weakness? Man, this is, man. See, see grace giving is nothing less than God's strength coming through your emptiness. <laughs> and I love it. When I have nothing, I have everything. If you have in your mind when you have, listen to me, those of you that are into this security thing, the security thing here. Some folk got on a big jet. They said it was a value price. <laughs> oh, Lord, I, here's my money. Just, just get me to my destination. No, over 100 of you are going to come into judgment. They're going to be digging for you for weeks in the swamp. Listen here. Grace given, you don't care about the jet going up, coming down, and flipping and doing nothing because you've expended all and you know it's all right with you. 
Security in this world is not on a dollar, friends. Security in this world is when God says, I want to use you. And I will use you as you make yourself available for me. And I tell you, when I opened up that envelope, I told my wife, I said, look at this. Isn't this just like Jesus? I overgave and gave more than I had to give. And they're going to charge me interest on what I gave that I ain't even got to give yet. <laughs> that great? That's the worldly system that we live in. We'll give you time to give us some more money on the money that you overdrew from us. Thank you. Are there biblical, ex biblical examples of this kind of giving? Yes, there are many, but first we must attempt to answer the question concerning the gift of giving before we get into the grace of giving. First of all, let's look at what, the gift, uh, what is the gift of giving. Okay, in our text scripture, Romans chapter 12, verse 8b, I want you to look at the second part of that verse. It says, he who gives with liberality. In other words, it involves a certain kind of attitude. Grace giving and the gift of giving involves an attitude. I want you all to pay attention to me here. Liberality, haplotes in the Greek, it's an adverb. The one that gives ought to give wholeheartedly, that's what that means, sacrificially and with liberality. In other words, I'm giving from my whole heart. I'm giving all that I have because it's for God. And I just don't care what he does with it. Just do something with it. Jesus, that's that. Also, this is done in the freedom of inner discord. There is no inner wrestling when you give like this. There's no, well, should I, I shouldn't I. Well, if I do this, what's going to happen? Well, if I give that, is that too much? There's no inner discord when you give like that. You write it and you say to God be the glory for great things he's done. Sign it, dot it, and give it, and don't never look for nothing back. Man, this is, man, 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 this is what believers do. And what this does, in a sense, this forces God to bless. Because God says, when you have nothing, I will give you everything. But you've got to do nothing with nothing in your heart. Man. You would say, only a fool would do that. Yes, whose fool are you? I'm Christ's fool. Ah. This is done, and when it's done, there is no ulterior motive or ambiguity in your giving. There's no ulterior motive. Well, I'll do this and so that they'll look at me. No! We don't want to look at you. We want to look at that dollar. There's no ambiguity in that. You're, you're satisfied that what the word means, you want to put up with it. It is not a self-seeking giving. There is an openness of heart manifesting itself by generosity. It is what my late pastor used to do all the time. When Lucy and I were struggling, I would go by there to cut his lawn on Saturday. And he and his wife would go shopping, and they knew that I always loved goodies and sweets and stuff. And after I would do the lawn, he would have this little bag of goodies. And he would say, where are you going, John? And I never asked for it. But he would say, John, why don't you take this with you? And I'd, man, I'd be driving home sweaty and tired and everything, and I'd look in that bag, and Lucy and I, money was real tight because we gave, because we, we've given like this for years in this church. That's the way we gave, so we didn't have a lot. And so what God did is provide it through him. And it was just the goodies that carried us through the week. Carried us through the week. And when folks came by, we didn't hide the goodies. We gave the goodies up.